It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. Now tell me about today's protest. Today's protest is in regards to the discriminatory practices of advertising on our network and cable television and satellite as well as internet. Over the past year and months, we've had several organizations, corporations that have had to remove their advertising because of the implications of racism and the subliminal connotations that they carry with them. We have that same issue today with General Motors and their New York Enclave ad where they are, appear to be labeling young African Americans and children of color maniacs. That really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. That is totally unacceptable in today's current climate. We cannot be having self-images of our African-American children be broadcast across the nation in a subliminal way and call them maniacs, while yet the Caucasian brothers and sisters in the video, their children are called kids. Hey honey, we should get one of those and have like a ton more kids. Yeah, I love that. More kids. Yeah. It's racist. What do we want? Pull that. What do we want? Pull that. So there's a great disparity there. It's a subliminal message that needs to be addressed. What do we not? Maniacs! What do we not? Maniacs! How did it make you feel when you when you first heard about this, this ad? I immediately knew I had to come and take a stand. Uh, with GM in particular, this isn't their first go around with racism. In 2013, they had to move an ad for calling Chinese people chink in the ad. So here we go again. So we're not just targeting GM Motors, we're targeting Heineken, Dove, Kellogg, um, Patel Barbie, all of these corporations and many others that have had just in the past year to remove their racist implicated hands. This organization is going to be encouraging GM to do and other organizations to hire more African American in their ad agencies or hire more black ad agencies so they can vet these type of ads to uh, you know, let them know what they have a racist content. These corporations, do you think that this is an example of racial uh, insensitivity or do you think that there's an actual reason behind it? General Motors currently has no African American men on either their board or their corporate leadership. Without that type of diversity, you have these types of issues to occur. The same goes with their advertising agencies. With spent over 225 million with, they have no African Americans in their corporate leadership. So if you have no one in the focus groups and sitting at the table to tell you that that might be a problem, then these types of things occur when you have a division when one group says we don't see it, the other group says we do see it. To refer to them as being maniacs, it's not a positive thing. Why? It's racist. Why? It's racist. Why? It's racist. Why? It's racist. For those um, folks, um, I won't say ignorant, I'll say unaware in society who, who say that racism is more racist in society, how do you respond to that? Well, I think racism is alive and well today. I think that images play a very important role, and that's why we're going to be forming a watchdog group to monitor these types of activities because images have consequences well as the audio that's associated with those images. Those images help to educate and stimulate minds. And when we put negativity out there, sometimes we might read racism in those uh, derogatory images and audio. And I think that's what's occurring in society today, where we have none of that diversity to put that type of uh, activity in check. As of today, uh, Out of the Box Productions has filed uh, complaints with GM, with General Motors, and as well as the FCC, along with the FTC. Uh, we're hoping that with the awareness that we bring about, that we can get a video apology from the CEO, Mary Barrera of GM, as well as the immediate removal uh, of the commercial, uh, and as well as coming to the table to talk about why they have no African Americans in their corporate leadership and on their board, and we would like to establish some type of dialogue to rectify these problems. It's racist! 
What do we want? Pull it! What do we want? Pull it! It's like historical. It's not just something that's happening right now. So it's always happening. So we're just trying to address the historical problem. We want to work together uh, you know, with GM and the other companies that's involved as well too with the negativity because I truly believe that teamwork makes the dream work. Our young people are the future. They're future leaders. And uh, referring them to being maniacs, especially among the African American community, is just a ne another negative shot down. And we cannot allow this to happen. That's one of the reasons why I came out today to have a stand. Black like people should have. Uh... Why got GM? Most, the most definitely offended me. It's racist. Extremely insensitive. Because he black, you want to call him a maniac? You allow your kids to be called maniacs, uh, but you don't care just a know. lot for those little boys. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. Yes, I want to know that what's going on right now, people.